Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. My story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. All is at rest I and my Savior am happy and blessed Watching and waiting, looking above Filled with His goodness, lost in His love This is my story this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. Raising my Savior all the day long This is my story, this is my song Raising my Savior all the day long This is my story, this is my song Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord our God. We thank you for your loving kindness and your unfailing promises. We thank you, Lord, for you put a song in our mouths, O Lord, this morning. Throughout the scripture, Lord, your promise to answer us when we call is there, Father Lord. For in your word in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, you said, Call unto me, and I will answer thee. And also in Jeremiah 29, 12, you give the assurance that then you will call on me, and you will come and pray to me, and I will hear your voice and i will listen to you so father lord with the confidence that you are the great hearer of prayer we come before you today with our hands lifted up and with our mouth full of praise O lord and with a heart of thanksgiving for your love your mercy your faithfulness O lord for allow us to see the end of this month we bless your holy name father lord we praise you let our praise the lord be the sweet and smelling server to you this morning because you are our god and we will praise you you are our god oh lord we exalt you father we thank you in the name of jesus christ our wonderful god we praise you lord this morning for you are worthy and you reveal yourself to those who sincerely seek you blessed be to your name oh lord Father, Lord, we praise you for you alone are holy, you alone are just, and you alone are the only wise God. Hallelujah to your name, Lord, this morning. Blessed be to your name, Father, Lord. Great Jehovah, we thank you for striking all the enemies upon the cheekbones. You do not let them triumph over us. You are undefeatable. Thank you, Father, Lord, as you fight our battle for us. Thank you, Father, Lord, because we have that blessed assurance us that jesus christ is ours this morning oh lord we bless your name thank you father for 
your ever present help and you silence hey, the enemy. You are our hiding place, Lord. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. In the name of Jesus Christ, we praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The psalmist asked the question Who can understand this error? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back the servant also from presumption sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let us pray this morning. Lord, you know my fault. You know all my weaknesses. But the Lord said we should confess it this morning. Lord, I confess. I acknowledge my shortcomings before you, Lord. I acknowledge, O oh Lord, for allow my mind to wander to dirty ways. You know, let us confess this morning. Pretend it to be better than I am, Lord. I confess this morning. Deceitful heart and a crooked thought, Lord. Speaking thoughtless words, Lord, I confess it this morning. Look up next to witnessing, Lord, have mercy. Forgive me my inadequate reading of the Bible. Father, Lord, forgive me. Oh, oh my inadequate of watchfulness, Lord, forgive me, Lord. And my blindness of the heart toward perishing so. Father, this morning I ask, oh Lord, that you will forgive me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, Lord, for the power in the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. And I believe, as I have confessed, I have received forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. Our Lord and our God, this morning, I want us to confess again the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Lord, thank you for the power, for the victory that we have through the blood of Jesus Christ. I thank you, mighty Father, and I soak my life in the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak my children's life, my grandchildren's life in the blood of Jesus. Every member of my household, my spouse, everyone, I soak them in the blood of Jesus Christ. My son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, I soak them in the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for the power and the blood of Jesus. And I take the divine insurance against any form of accident and tragedy. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I take divine insurance against any form of accident or tragedy in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to declare what the blood of Jesus Christ has accomplished for us this morning. Let us declare, my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. My members, the part of my body, are instruments of righteousness, yielded to God for his service and for his glory. My members, the parts of my body are instruments of righteousness yielded to God for his service and for his glory. The devil has no place in me, no power over me, no unsettled claims against me. All has been settled by the blood of Jesus Christ. The devil has no place in me, no power over me, no unsettled claims against me. All has been settled by the blood of Jesus Christ. I overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. And I love not my life unto death. I overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. And I love not my life unto death. My body is the Lord and the Lord is for my body. My body is for the Lord, and the Lord is for my body. Amen, 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 hallelujah, amen. We're going to make our declaration this morning by just going to Psalm, before we pray, Psalm 3, just one verse. Psalm 3, verse 8. It says, from the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your on your people. 
from the Lord comes deliverance. The Lord, when we pray, everything is the Lord. The Lord will do it. The Lord will accomplish the purpose, you know, that we have come this morning. And we want to pray because the Bible says, while men are sleeping, the enemy came and so us. So we're going to pray that this morning, every silent battle, sleeping and waking with me, that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because from the Lord comes deliverance, and may your blessing be on your people. The blessing of the Lord will be upon me this morning. The blessing of the Lord will be upon us this morning. So every silent battle, sleeping and waking with me, your end has come. This is the end of October. So you must die. You must go with today. As long as I'm not going to see or the end of October 2022, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because it will not come back. It's become an history after today. So every silent battle, sleeping and waking with me, die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your end has come. Every silent battle, sleeping and waking with my children, I declare today your end has come. Die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every silent battle, sleeping and waking with me, Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every silent battle, sleeping and waking with any member of my household. This morning, I cry against you. Hear the word of the Lord. You must die in the name of Jesus Christ. Because from the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people, O oh Lord our Father. So every silent battle, sleeping and waking with us, with any member of our household this morning. Father Lord, let the end today be the end of that battle in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. That power of sudden battle. I am not your candidate in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That in the name of Jesus, that power of sudden battles. I am not your candidate. That in the name of Jesus Christ, that power of sudden battles. I am not your candidate. That in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, every power of sudden battles. We are not your candidate. That in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us thank the Lord this morning. My Father, my Lord, I thank you for guiding me by your pillar of cloud in the day and fire by night. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, I thank you for guiding me by your pillar of cloud in the day and by the fire by the night. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord our God, I thank you for guiding me me by your pillar of cloud in the day and by fire or the, by night in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father Lord, this day I ask, oh Lord, help me, Father Lord, to lean on you, not to lean on my own understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, that today you will help me, Lord, to trust you, to lean on you, not on my own understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, help my children, Lord, that today, Father, they will lean on you. They will stand on your promises. They will have that confidence that you are the one that is in charge, O oh Lord. And they will not lean on their own understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, wherever our children are this morning, we're asking you, Father, that you will help them to trust in you, to lean on your everlasting harm. Oh, Father, Lord, that they will not lean on their own understanding, on their own power, Father, but Lord, we trust you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Lord, my God, I thank you for overturning the table of my enemies in every aspect of my life. Thank you, Father, Lord. I thank you, Father, for overturning the table of the enemy in every aspect of our life, of my children's life, of my ministry, of my career, every aspect, oh Lord. I thank you, Father, for overturning the table of the enemy in every aspect of my children's life. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Father, I ask this morning that you will arise and convert my insults to results 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, this morning, Lord, uh, you are the only one that can do it, O oh Lord, because from the Lord comes deliverance. Lord, this morning, arise, convert my insults to results. Father, Lord, arise this morning, convert my children insult to result. Any insult in their life, insult in this family. Father, Lord, I'm asking you this morning by your power, because your word assures us this morning that from the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. Father, Lord, this morning, arise, convert every insult to result in the name of Jesus Christ. Any insult in our life. Any insult in our marriage, any insult, O oh Lord, in our household this morning, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because, O oh Lord, you are our holy hope. Blessed assurance, Lord. Jesus is ours this morning, and we have a story to tell because you are a story changer. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, change the story in our household. Every insult there, Lord, that you will convert it to resort in the name name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, my Father, arise this morning and convert my ridicule to miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, I've come before you this morning because, oh Lord, you are the God. From the Lord comes deliverance this morning. And I look up to you, Lord, and I'm asking you, Father, arise, convert my ridicule to miracle. In the name Oh, Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, oh, convert the ridicule in the life of my children to miracle in the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, by your own power, by your own doing. Oh, Lord, our God, in each household this morning that we are lifting our voice together unto you, we are asking you, Father, Lord, arise and convert the ridicule into miracle in the name of Jesus Christ, because with man it may be impossible, but with you, Oh Lord, nothing shall be impossible. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask eh, that you will convert the ridicule in our life, the ridicule, Lord, whether they are ridicule us in the area of marriage, they are ridicule world, in the area of business or a career, in academics, Father, whatever that area is, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, it may be even our health. Lord, this morning, our Lord and our God, you are the God that changed story. And you are giving us a new story today and so father arise and convert the ridicule in our life to miracle in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen amen divine elevation that we cancel shame and reproach manifest in my life in the name of jesus christ divine elevation that you cancel shame and reproach manifest in the name of jesus christ manifest by the power in the blood of jesus christ manifest in my life manifest in my children's life manifest in my grandchildren's life manifest in the name of jesus christ divine elevation that you cancel shame and reproach manifest manifest in the name of jesus christ in jesus name Amen. On everything concerning me, O oh Lord, show me a sign for good in the name of Jesus Christ. Because your word say, from the Lord comes deliverance. So, Father Lord, this morning, on everything concerning me, O oh Lord, show me a sign for good in the name of Jesus Christ. On everything, when we say everything, it means everything, no matter how small or how big it is. My Father, my Lord, in you I put my trust this morning on everything concerning me. Oh Lord, my Father. Show me a sign for good concerning me, either the area of my children or my, my ministry or my career. Father, Lord, this morning, on everything concerning me, I'm asking you, Lord, show me a sign for good. Show me a sign for good, oh Lord. You're a good father. You do good things for your own because your words say, may your blessing be on your people. Lord, this morning, on everything concerning me, on everything concerning my children, on 
on everything concerning my spouse, on everything, oh Lord, on everything, everything, you know it, oh Lord. And this morning, I'm lifting it up to you. And I'm saying, Lord, concerning this situation, show me a sign for good. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Power struggling my life. Arise and destroy yourselves. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power troubling my life, arise and begin to destroy yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you not read it in the Bible, they, they set war against the children of Israel, but they help themselves to destroy themselves. This morning, powers troubling my life, powers troubling my children's life, power troubling any member of my household this morning. Arise in the name of Jesus Christ and begin to destroy yourself. Begin to destroy yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power troubling my life, any power troubling my children's life, my grandchildren's life, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to the word of God, that said they rise up and they begin to destroy themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you powers troubling in my life divide this begin to destroy yourself in the name of jesus christ begin to destroy yourself in jesus name amen amen <laughs> every invisible evil hand upon my head receive the fire of god in the name of jesus christ every invisible hand upon my head receive the fire of god receive the fire of god in the name of jesus christ every invisible evil hand upon my children said in the name of the lord jesus christ receive fire cast fire in the name of the lord jesus christ every invisible hand upon my head upon my children said in the name of jesus christ every hand that is pressing them down that does not want them to lift up their head in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning receive the fire of God, receive the fire of God every evil hand, where it ever that visible or invisible that is placed upon the head of my children or my grandchildren in the name of Jesus Christ receive fire, receive the fire of God, receive fire of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus name Amen any bondage Mocking the name of God in my life. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Any bondage. Mocking the name of God in my life. This morning. Break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any bondage. Mocking the name of God in my life. In the life of my children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Any bondage. Mocking the name of God in my life. Break. Break in Jesus' name. Amen. Eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, I am not your victim. Drink your own blood and eat your own flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, I am not your victim. Drink your own blood and eat your own flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Every drinkers of blood, eaters of flesh, I am not your victim. My children are not your victim. No member of my household. We are not your victim this morning. So begin to drink your own blood and eat your own flesh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eat us of flesh. Drink us of blood. I and my family are not your victim. Drink your own blood and eat your own flesh. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Every sword of darkness raised at me. <laughs> Kill your owner after the order of Goliath in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, the sword of Goliath was the one David used to kill Goliath. Every sword of darkness raised at me. Kill your owner after the order of Goliath in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every sword of darkness raised at my children, at any member of my household this morning. Kill your owner after the order of Goliath in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every sword of darkness raised at me. Raised at my children, my grandchildren, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law this morning. Kill your owner after the order of Goliath. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. My door of uncommon financial breakthroughs. Open in the name of Jesus Christ. My door of uncommon financial breakthroughs. Open, open in the name of Jesus Christ. It is the Lord who blesses the righteous and, and the, you know, added no sorrow. Therefore, this morning, 
my door of uncommon financial breakthroughs open 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 by fire in the name of jesus christ maybe you need to get that client that client that will transform your business or your you know that client that will transform your your career this morning my door of uncommon financial breakthroughs open in the name of jesus christ open in the name of jesus father lord let the door of uncommon financial breakthrough open open for us open for our children in the name of jesus christ every door of uncommon financial breakthrough open open in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen anything that i have lost to make me lose my position I recover them in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that I have lost to make me lose my position, I recover them in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that I have lost, we're not talking of me, you lose money or now, but we're talking of the spiritual aspect. Anything that I have lost in the spiritual realm that make me to lose my position, I recover them in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that my children have lost to make them lose their position, I recover them for them now in the name of Jesus Christ. I recover them. I recover them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I want us to make this loud to ourselves this morning. The next seven utterances that I want to, let me, I will repeat it twice so that you can get it. I want us to make that confession to ourselves this morning. It says, the joy of the Lord will strengthen me. His right hand of righteousness will uphold me. His countenance will brighten up my life in the name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord will strengthen me. His right hand of righteousness will uphold me. His countenance will brighten up my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord God, my God, will help me. Therefore, shall I not be confounded. Therefore, have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. The Lord God, my God, will help me. Therefore, shall I not be confounded? Therefore, have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The great army of God is beside me. I shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord my God, who had dealt wondrously with me. I shall never be ashamed. The great army of God is beside me. I shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord my God who had dealt wondrously with me and I shall not be ashamed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The devil has no more dominion over me. The devil has no more dominion over me in the name of jesus christ amen the word of god says that he will restore to me the years that the locusts are sitting the canker worm and the caterpillar and the power worm the lord the word of god says that he will restore to me the years that the locusts are sitting the canker worm and the caterpillar and the power worm in the name of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus, the Lord will flush my land and wash my palm and possession. With the blood of Jesus, the Lord will flush my land and wash my palms and possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The whole world may decide to go wide with evil flowing like a flood. The enemy, in his evil machinations, may decide against me. The earth may choose not to tremble. Whatever may be or happened, I refuse to be shaken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I repeat that again. The whole world may decide to go with evil flowing like a flood. The enemy, in his evil machinations, 
may decide against me. The earth may choose not to tremble. Whatever may be or happen, I refuse to be shaken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Just as we sang this morning, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. This morning, we have nothing to be afraid because we have that story to tell. Jesus, our Savior, is here in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us go to the Word of God this morning. And we're going to read from Exodus, Exodus chapter 12. chapter 12 and we're reading verse 2 25 through 26 let's say those 12 from verse 25 he said when you enter the land actually let me read you from 24 to make it Say, obey these instructions as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants. When you enter the land that the Lord will give you as a promise, observe this ceremony. Verse 26. And when your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you? Then tell them it is the Passover sacrifice of the Lord, who passed over the houses of Israelites in Egypt and spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. Then the people bowed down and worshipped. This is the instruction given to them. Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. These ordinances for them became an annual remembrance of how God delivered the Hebrews from Egypt. It's so a coincidence. You know, today is the Halloween day. So some of us parents, when they come to you and you, you, you oh, give them candy this, this morning or this evening, whatever be the day in your place, do you know you are participating? Oh, you say, no, I'm there. just candy. Those who are going about Accepted the candy. They know the purpose they are doing it. But you don't know. You are participating. And you allow your children to do it as well. What, you know, just like what we read now. What will you tell them? Why you are doing that? What is your explanation? That God has done. Here he said, it's an annual remembrance of how God delivered the Hebrew from Egypt. Each year the people will pause to remember the day when the destroyer, God's angels of death, passed over their homes. They gave thanks to God for saving them from death, bringing them out of the land of slavery and sin. We believers today have experienced a day of deliverance as well. The day we were delivered from spiritual death and slavery to sin. The Lord's Supper is our Passover remembrance of our new life and freedom from sin. So the next time struggles and trials come, remember how God has delivered you in the past and focus on the promise of the new life with Him. So as parents, be ready to answer any question. That is what they, they are saying here. That this question, these children, they will ask questions. The mistake some of us are making is that when they ask questions, we just shut them off. Say, no, you don't ask that, you know, and because I'm your parent or because I say so, if you are a teacher. They have inquisitive mind. Many of us today who are adults, we did not have the opportunity of asking family history questions, you know, from our parents or our grandparents. That is why we want that to stop now. Tell stories 
to your children. Whether it's good or you're not good. Don't be afraid. Don't you say, I don't want to be vulnerable to these children. They're my child. Why do they not want to know about my past? I remember when I was raising my children, I told them one thing. I said, listen, children. I was once a runaway child. I said, so I don't want you to run away. Tell me anything and I will do whatever I can do to protect you. They will, they will open their eyes up and say, really? You run away? I say, yeah. I was once a wanted child because I ran away because my parents will not listen to what I was saying. I said, so I learned that. So tell me anything. And thank God up to today, we, we, we know anything that parents need to know they will let me know. So I, there's nothing you can be going through. I will, you know, I will, I will assist you. I will help you. Stories. Tell them stories. And ask stories. Another way the stories help me, I, and especially in the area of spiritual life, when my mother visited me, because that was the opportunity I have to even spend a long time with her, and I started, we started sharing story through watching a movie. So there's always a learning opportunity, whether it's your grandchildren or your children, whenever they come, you know they're not too old to know the story of your family. Don't just tell them the good things or the bad things. I sat down with my mother. We watched the root, the movie root when it came out, and uh, that was in 2011 when it, she came to visit me. And my mom said, "Oh, you know what? This is just a, a, a they, they underrate, you know, underestimate what I was watching because it had the experience." And he told me. So I started begin to investigate my story. So that helped me to know what I have to ask God to forgive me. And I do not want to be part in it. So parents, allow children, encourage them, encourage them to ask questions. And be willing to provide useful response and information to this question. No matter how foolish they look like. It, it, you will do it, they make, even make fun of you. I'm sure, you know, when the, these children in the land of Israel, as time goes on, when they see their parents, okay, let's do the Passover, this is my Passover. What do you need to do this? Hmm? They will make fun. Evil children were encouraged to ask questions and their parents were enjoyed not to stop their inquiry mind. Information is power. It is also useful. It helps young people to know the history of their families, learn about the mistakes of their progenitors. So learn not to fail. You know, it will help them to learn not to fail, fall into the error or sins of their grandparents or parents. And it will help them to learn to separate, you know, them from evil. And also it will bring the fear of God in their mind. But if you are just compromising everything, Halloween came, you celebrate. Christmas came, you celebrate. Easter came, you celebrate. Uh, Madre Grass came, you celebrate. <laughs> you are the one confusing these children. So apart from allowing children to ask questions, parents should also cultivate the habit of keeping family records. One way by which we can give account of our lives to the next generation is by keeping a good diary 
of significant events and a good spiritual journey in our family. Keep a good spiritual journey in our family. I have a family record whereby they can refer to, you know. Thank God, many of us on the prayer form, we broken the bondage of polygamy. My dad used to keep a record, family record, but the moment he died, because others have access to that record, and they saw what was written there, they did not want others to see it, they destroyed that record. But your case is not like that. See, that is what we're learning, that polygamy is not a good thing. So let us take to have something they can refer to. Your spiritual journey. Keep a record of it. It doesn't have to be a long story. You know, the, the, the testimonies you are sharing or the things that God is doing, the milestones you have accomplished, make a record of them. So your grandchildren. Even, you know, sometimes you can just take a picture. If they come to visit you, take a picture and you begin the story. Tell them the story. Oh, they will say, Grandma, you this one? Yes, this is what happened then. Oh, you do this? Yes, this is... Uh, they couldn't believe. They will laugh at you. It's a time of joy for them. So, parents, this morning, let us begin. The year is coming to an end. Be planning ahead. God, by the grace of God, that beginning from next year, I will buy me a diary. I will begin to keep a diary, both of my, you know, the milestone, both the good and the bad. And then, because as, if they read it, they'll say, oh, this thing happened this time. You know, I was sad. I was depressed. But as time goes on, they say, my spirit was lifted up. They will know that you did not die depressed, that you were out of that valley. Now you are on the mountaintop. So let us keep record to help the generations. If you can give them any legacy, that is one of it. Something they can refer to. They can see how you overcome. So, no, do not leave spiritual deficits and liability for them. Clear your foundation and deal with evil ancestral issues. You know, when you know the history, you know. If for those of us who are married, when my husband was still alive, I said, tell me your own history, your journey since the day you were born. When he, when he, he told me, I said, oh Lord, have mercy. And I started singing, oh Lord, have mercy. I said, we need to be praying for mercy because you have done a lot. God has forgiven you. I said, yeah, God has forgiven you. But if it happens that one of these kids up to that area of life, they will pay the full price, you know, because the demons that you left will come with a revenge over that children or that God children. So that is why when you see me asking that, oh, ancestral thing or the, the, my forefathers sin, God forgive us, we need to pray because they have sown the seed. And unless the Lord uproot it for us. So know your history, know your background. Do not leave this for your children to inherit. If you deal with it, most of this, your children, destiny will easily find expression and their life journey will be full of fulfillment. So my dear brothers and sisters, encourage your children to ask questions. Provide them with all the items of information that will help them fight the good fight of faith. Let us be wise. A baby is born with a need to love and never outgrows it. You know, they never, if you love them. And it is my prayer this morning that you will live long to see your children's children and enjoy the reward of your labor in the name of Jesus Christ. So begin to determine what you will do.
with the Lord, blessings of God that he has blessed you, the journey that you have taken so far. So don't let just it go away. They say, do you know anything about grandma? No. Or about grandpa? No. I just know them. No. Write it down. Let them know the story. In Jesus' name, let us pray that the wisdom of God, we need God's wisdom. You know, it's not just going to be an easy thing. Let us pray that God will give us wisdom this morning. Wisdom of God possess me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wisdom of God possess me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wisdom of God possess me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you said, if there anyone that lack wisdom, we should ask. And Father Lord, I'm asking for wisdom this morning. That you will give me the wisdom, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wisdom of God possess me. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of discernment, possess me and members of my family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of discernment, possess me and members of my family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of discernment, possess me and members of my family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of discernment, possess me and members of my family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of discernment, possess me and members of my family in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and fight the battle for my home in the name of Jesus Christ. I know each household has a battle to fight. Lord, this morning, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and fight the battle of my home in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, you are the man of war, the Lord God of hosts. Father, arise this morning, fight the battle. In each home, in the name of Jesus Christ, begin with my home. Oh, Father Lord, arise and fight the battle in my home, in the name of Jesus Christ. Fight the battle in the home of my children, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord. Fight the battle in our homes, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Spirit of excellence, possess my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of excellence, possess my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of excellence, possess my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of excellence, possess my children, my grandchildren. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Spirit of boldness and a sound mind, possess my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of boldness and a sound mind, possess my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of boldness and a sound mind, possess my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of boldness and a sound mind, possess my children, my grandchildren. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Holy Spirit. Quicken my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, quicken my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, quicken my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, quicken my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, quicken my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, quicken my spirit in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, quicken my children's spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, my life is available. Enter in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, my life is available. Enter in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, my life is available. Enter in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, my children's life is available. Enter in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, my life is available. Enter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, my life is available. Enter in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're going to intercede for the Christian home this morning. Let us pray that, Lord, 
remove all the hindrances to your purpose for Christian homes in the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. Remove all the hindrances to your purpose for Christian homes in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord our God. Remove all the hindrances to your purpose for Christian homes in the name of Jesus Christ, O Father Lord. Remove all the hindrances to your purpose for Christian homes in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of quarrel to lose their grips upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of quarrel to lose their grips upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the spirit of quarrel to live, lose their grip upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of immorality to lose their grips upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command the spirit of immorality to lose their grips upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of unfaithfulness to lose their grip upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of unfaithfulness to lose their grips upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the spirit of infirmity to lose their grips upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of infirmity to lose their grip upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command the spirit of disagreement to lose their grips upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of disagreement to lose their grips upon Christian homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the spirit of misunderstanding to lose their grips upon Christian homes in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the spirit of misunderstanding to lose their grips upon Christian homes in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of intolerance to lose their grips upon Christian homes in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of intolerance to lose their grips in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ, oh Father Lord, let the spirit of love, spirit of gentleness, spirit of kindness be upon Christian homes in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, let all Christian homes be a light to the world and a vehicle of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord and Father. Let all Christian homes be a light to the world and a vehicle of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we pray this morning. Let all Christian homes be a light to the world and a vehicle of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh God, raise up Esther. Raise up Ruth and Deborah in this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, raise up Esther, raise up Ruth and Deborah in this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, in this our generation, raise up Esther, raise up Ruth and Deborah in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Every power destroying joy in the home be dismantled in the name of jesus christ every power destroying joy in the home in the name of jesus be dismantled be dismantled in the name of jesus christ every power destroying joy in the home be dismantled in the name of jesus christ be dismantled in jesus name amen amen oh lord my father Grant us special wisdom to train our children in your glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, especially in this age, O oh Lord, where it is only, we have all the gadgets for them, there's no personal relationship. Father, Lord, we are asking you, Lord, grant us special wisdom to train our children in your glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. And for those of us who have grandchildren, Father, Lord, we ask him, grant us, O oh Lord, special wisdom to train them to be a good influence in the life of these grandchildren in the name of Jesus Christ.
Christ, Father and Lord, we're asking for the young generation, how they are raising their children this day. For Lord our God, we're asking for your divine intervention that you will grant them special wisdom to train up their children in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help them. Help our young ones, O Lord. Help this generation, O Lord. Give them the wisdom, O Lord, they need to train up these children in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Every Christian marriage that has been rearranged by the enemy be corrected in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you know any Christian marriage that is being rearranged this morning, leave that person, that leave that home to the Lord. That Lord, this household, this morning that is being re rearranged by the enemy, let it be corrected. We need your divine intervention. Every Christian marriage that has been rearranged by the enemy be corrected. Corrected. Be corrected in the name of Jesus Christ. Every Christian marriage that has been rearranged by the enemy, be corrected. Be corrected in the name of Jesus Christ. Be corrected in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord our Father, this morning, every Christian marriage that has been arranged by the enemy, be corrected in the name of Jesus Christ. Any door that has been opened for the enemy to come to steal, to destroy the Christian marriage. Father, Lord, this morning, let that door be closed. In the name of Jesus Christ, any Christian marriage, O oh Lord, that is suffering this morning, we are asking you, Lord, that you will come and intervene. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. O oh Lord and Father, let the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of gentleness, submission, gentleness, obedience to God's word, comes in the in the christian homes in the name of jesus christ oh father lord we're asking let the spirit of wisdom judgment submission gentleness obedience to god's word and faithfulness in the home come upon christian hopes in the name of jesus christ father lord let the spirit of wisdom spirit of judgment submission gentleness obedience to god's word and faithfulness in the home come upon christian homes in the name of jesus christ why do i pray that prayer some of us we are gentle outside we're tolerant outside we're submissive outside but when you get to the home no it's a different story oh father lord this morning I pray, oh Father Lord, for that spirit, of oh, diabolical spirit, that will make us to be one thing in the inside of our home and something outside of our home. Father, in the name of Jesus, let that spirit be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father Lord, let the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of judgment, the spirit of submission, the spirit of gentleness, the spirit of obedience to your word and faithfulness in the home come upon Christian homes in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let it come in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord our Father, remove every wrong spirit from the midst of your children and put in the right spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, remove every wrong spirit from the midst of your children and put in the right spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us thank the Lord this morning. The Lord our Father is faithful. Let us commit our ways unto him this morning that we we'll be in the right place at the right time in the name of Jesus. For the step of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. So, Father, Lord, order our full step, O Lord. We commit our ways unto your hand that we will bless our going out and our coming in this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, Lord, for the blessings of today because every day you loaded us with benefits and we worship you we adore you oh lord in the name of jesus christ amen and the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen amen have a wonderful day god bless us in jesus name amen